I wonder what John Taffer is up to. I haven't talked about Bar Rescue in almost two years now. A tater tot you can't cook! Raw. Raw bacon. Raw bacon? Raw meat! It's raw meat all over your hands! Raw chicken and raw meat! Everything is still raw. There's still cockroaches and flies everywhere. And, you know, I swear one of these days, this dude is just gonna explode while filming this show. The way he flips out at people, you'd think that he's stuck in some never-ending nightmare where he just has to go from one shitty bar to the next. Each owner drunker than the one who came before. Anyway, get your fly drinks ready because it's Taffer time. I want you to see something. Now that's that's bull I checked all these bottles. This is a setup, cause that that, that was clean. So this drunk dude just fed people a bunch of flies and now he's in denial. But you know, maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe it was clean this morning and all the flies caught wind that John Taffer was gonna make an appearance and they're like, yo, let's sabotage this guy. All these people act like as soon as John Taffer shows up, all the bugs are just magically there now. You know what, maybe there is some kind of conspiracy going on. That was clean. So we went out and caught all of these with little traps, right? Little traps everywhere. Then I peeled them off the trap and I put them in this bottle. You're a moron to even suggest such a thing. Imagine if that's what he's actually doing and he just revealed it but played it off as a joke. Yeah, right, I set a bunch of traps around and caught all these little bugs and then put them in a bottle. Get real. And then there's footage that leaks of John Taffer sneaking around in a bar at night with a little jar of bugs and some traps. You got a problem here? Yeah. Here's a wire so get out of it. Check it out, he's not lying. I'm not kidding. Just put the bottle back in the well. So he's prepared to serve that to the next guest. Sure. And hopefully get away with it. Hey, just because one guy doesn't like flies in his drink doesn't mean everybody's the same. Why would you waste a perfectly good bottle just because there's a couple hundred flies in it? There's Guppy, bartender. Well, at least Guppy's bigger than him, you know. There's Guppy, also from Ireland. I think Guppy's having a little bit too much fun. Maybe he had a few too many fly drinks. It seems as though so many of the owners on this show just wanted to be able to drink all day, so they're like, oh, I'll open a bar, not realizing that you actually have to do stuff too. You can't just drink the whole time. You actually have to make a profit, believe it or not. All right, well, at least he's working. At least he's pouring a drink. He's pouring a half a glass. Oh my God, that's not that's a like shot. That's like four ounces. Jesus. He's gulping four ounces. Drinks. Wow. Well, yeah, he's got to have some credibility. People aren't going to think you can run a bar if you don't drink. It's a smart business tactic to establish dominance. If somebody in your bar takes four shots, you take five. Guppy isn't over drinking. He's drinking to the point that he's hurting himself. He needs to understand that and stop. John, you need to understand that you got to be careful with those eyes. You're going to burn a hole through somebody's head. What's your name, boys? I have to have... A dry martini. I'll make you a dry, dirty martini. Perfect. Great. I can't do a dry martini, but I could get you a little glass of sludge with some flies in it. Does that sound good? Oh. Extra dirty. Oh. That dirty martini doesn't look like that. It, it looks like a margarita is. for crying out loud. This is the face of someone who just drank a bunch of flies because John Taffer told them to. At this point, it's just a given. They're gonna be there. What do you think? Guppy's running around inspecting the bottles? Yeah. Uh, I'm just getting rid of the flies. <laughs> You're getting up with them on your dinner every night. Dude, you're not supposed to take them out. I deliberately put them in there for flavor. You don't just pick them out with your fingers, you weirdo. Get the hell out of here. They always act so appalled when someone dares to point out the flies. What's the deal? What are you, obsessed with flies? Take every bottle with bugs in it and put it on top of the bar. Let's line them all up. Get all the bottles with bugs and line them up right here, right in front of me. Look at this. There's bugs in here. And then John just starts going down the line, doing shots from each one. Everybody's all freaked out. This fruit flies in the drinks. They're serving it that way and they don't even care. I want to use tonight as an example of what is so wrong with this bar and every person in it. Yeah, this is going to be difficult because Guppy sees the bugs as a positive. It's not something that you have to undo. It's something that's going right. Look at this dude. They traumatized the poor guy. All right, so we're going to look at another clip now, and it needs no context. It's just more rude people in a bar not running the bar. Look at them staring at him, and nothing is happening. He could have said hello and asked them what they're having. Yeah. Even if you have a busy bar, you should always acknowledge the guest. Okay, I get you guys. I'll have a strawberry margarita. So you're telling me you're gonna just walk into this bar and sit down at this bar and order a drink and expect me to make it for you? Uh, how about no? Get out. He made the wrong drink. That's not what she asked for. You know the drink that you had that tasted so terrible? That's why. That's where the soda gun sits. Rhyme and sludge because it hasn't been cleaned. That's what you're drinking. Bro, that's our signature sludge. Don't just go scraping that up. These are the best moments when John starts to get all fired up and starts throwing food around and smashing glasses and dishes. Here's what we do with this. That's 
its responsibility. I thought this guy was supposed to help us. He just showed up and now he's smashing everything. Do you understand this makes you a bad businesswoman? Does she have pride in this place? No, she does not have pride in this place. Larry, at what point do you pull the plug and that's say that's enough? Days. What kind of bar rescue is this? He just shows up, he's like, everything is shit, this is disgusting, this is horrible, and just starts smashing stuff. And it's pointless because all of the owners are too drunk and confused to even know what's going on. When they see him smashing shit, they're like, oh, that looks like fun, I'm gonna join in, I'll start smashing. Everybody's just smashing shit. What is the smell? It smells like cat in here. A bar that stinks from cat piss. That's my start on this bar. The owner's just like, hey, well, you know, it's better that it smells like cat piss than rat shit. I looked up the statistics of the show, and surprisingly, only 53% of bars fail after John leaves. I thought it was going to be a lot higher, like 70 to 75. All right, so in this next clip, these guys try to serve a customer some gnarly gumbo. Guys, we got to have a talk here. I want to hear what happened with this soup. We took the stuff back out of the steam tape, and I guess we didn't let it set out long enough to cool off the right way. So you guys knew it wasn't up to temperature, right? This poor guy back here is the one who tried the gumbo and brought it to John's attention, and I don't think he'll ever be the same. This is serious stuff. I was not aware that it wasn't up to temperature. I was You're never supposed say to be aware. aware. That's what you get You're right. paid for. You're correct. You're okay, correct. next. Chef, how many times did you throw up tonight, Chef? About three times. Only three times? What's the big deal? That's not so bad. Gordon Ramsay throws up every time he eats something he didn't make. You don't have the right to sell food. Damn you. All right, I like it, but you gotta throw sick. some stuff now, John. You haven't thrown Shut it there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh, there we go. Food served here tonight. You hear me? Close it the f down. I don't remember what episode it was, but there was at least one time where John threw a drink on the ground and some of it splashed up and hit a customer. You never want to be near John when he starts throwing stuff because it may begin small, you know, like a little tray of, of mozzarella sticks, but by the end, he could be hurling beer bottles and plates and chairs. Look at that bowl. Oh, look at that. That bowl has not been cleaned since this place opened. The pee drop. Oh. That shattered John all the way to the core of his soul. I don't think that's a bull. I think it's a helmet from World War One. Seriously though, it is unbelievable that someone would use it for this long. And they know that John is watching, right? At least I'm pretty sure that they do. And they still just do this shit. They don't even care. Just pouring the popcorn. Right off. And the keg is killed. We don't have another keg. Are you kidding? We don't have another keg. Mm -mm. Look at everything that's in the fossil. No way. And look at the over Holy <laughs> You know, these bars could just pretend that they have a Fear Factor theme going. They're serving flies, uncooked food, sludge cups. At this particular bar, they're not even surprised when somebody throws up. They're just like, oh, what do you throw up from? Michelle, do you have a bathroom? Do we have a bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Um, right back there to the left. Dude's throwing up. The what? Dude's throwing up in the bathroom. Off of what? I don't know. We took out the chips and salsa and stuff. She said that she doesn't know. Like, she didn't feed him some beer from, like, 1972. I have no idea why he got sick. All I did was scoop some 50-year-old beer out of a trough using a 100-year-old rusty helmet. I think he's just a lightweight. You almost killed my freaking mixologist. Phil is in the bathroom throwing up right now. Off beer? Yes! Off beer, for Christ's sakes! Off beer? Nah, that doesn't make any sense. This is a setup. Did you guys plant that throw up in the bathroom? This is Steve. He's a health inspector with me. Poor Steve. This guy looks like he's seen some shit. I bet he has. Puke my brains out. Because I drank that right there. Take a sip of it, man. Go ahead. You let your customers drink it? Drink it! Taste it. Must be 86. Supposed to be 86. Is it connected? Connected? I love when people say, oh, that wasn't supposed to be there. We were supposed to get rid of that. But it, but it's there and you're serving it to people. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we weren't supposed to. Like, it wasn't really supposed to be there. So let's just all pretend like it wasn't. Does she know it's 86? Did you? No, sir. You won't drink it, but he will? The camera pans over and he just threw that glass right on the table of a couple who's sitting there eating. These are the uh, mushrooms. And this is actually dirt on the bottom of the mushrooms. Oh yeah, we went and picked those in a field across the street earlier. Sorry about that. That wasn't supposed to have any dirt on it. Anything else that you might have to complain about, I just want to say that wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, so I think I'm all taffered out for now, but I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Obviously, I mostly talk about 90 Day Fiance, but if you want to see more of a variety of videos, just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Clip channel and check out the podcast if you're interested. The links for both of those will be in the description. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I just think the gumbo is so bad, make me puke.